we're going to go to Representative Phil Gingry. He is a Republican from Georgia. And he thinks contract with America uh, won't do it for the new promise that Republicans have for the really, really rich. I mean, America. Uh, the promises they want to deliver them. So he's come up with a new uh, phraseology. You're going to hear it right now. So let's go to clip number three. But we want to hear from you. What are we going to call it? I don't know. I, I had somebody say, you know, a, a contract with America is, is a little, maybe it's a little redundant going back to 1994. Uh, uh, and, and I had somebody suggest to the town hall meeting recently, maybe it ought to be a covenant with America. Mm. Just as God's covenant with Moses, when really this is a covenant, this this is more of a commitment, uh, more than a contract. This is a, a, a pledge of your sworn sacred honor, uh, and maybe that's the kind of thing that we need to get the, the truth, truly get the attention, uh, and sign it in blood if necessary. Yeah, that sounds like. Uh, right. So uh, we we think. Uh, that it would be inappropriate at a time like this to raise people's taxes yeah. at, at any level, at any level. Why in the world would we raise taxes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it, 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 again, I mean, in, in this in this time uh, of, of economic uncertainty and jobless recovery. If you raise taxes on the so-called wealthiest, I don't know what percent, you're, at, at, at those numbers, you're talking about the job creators. You're not just talking about the Warren Buffetts and, and uh, Bill Gateses of the world. You know, who All right, there it is again. Uh, you've got the job creators euphemism for the richest people in America. He says, it raising taxes is really wrong. Everybody in the room's like, yeah, yeah, of course it is. As if it affects them. I'd be surprised if there were two people in that room that weren't getting a tax cut from Obama. Remember, everybody, all households making under $250,000 are still getting a tax cut from Obama. All those people are getting their tax cut, but they're going, oh, oh yeah, at any level. That's right. Let's give uh, tax cuts to the richest people in America. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, preach it. Covenant with Moses. Because, you know, that's, if you believe in the Bible, you know how much Jesus loved rich people. He loved the money changers. And he thought, you know what? These rich people are going straight to heaven. It's going to be super easy for them, right? I mean, you want to talk about perverting religion, perverting the Bible and flipping it on its head? Now, I, I'm, I, I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in what Jesus believed in. Uh, I don't think it's, Jesus hated rich people a million times more than I do. I don't hate rich people. I like rich people. I got no problems, okay? All I'm saying is, can we raise their marginal tax rate above a quarter of a million dollars? So a quarter of a million is still the same. Above that amount, we raise it by 3%. I don't think they're going to have trouble getting into heaven, as Jesus says. I'm way to the right of Jesus, okay? But these guys say, no, 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 no. The rich have to have their tax cuts. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have to sign this covenant with blood if necessary. And those poor schmucks in that audience going, uh huh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, 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 oh. Okay, by the way, we told you earlier on the show $1.9 trillion in the, between 2000 and 2008 went out of the country. People invested that the $1.3 trillion they got in tax cuts from Bush. They took that and then some and invested it outside of the country. Now, again, I don't have a problem with that. I, I, I like jobs being created in China and Mexico. I'm a humanist. I believe in human beings, right, whether they're Chinese or American. But you think that those Republicans actually care about job creators? No, they don't. They care about the rich and only that's the covenant that they want. And those poor schmucks in that room, I, when I hear them, oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, makes me sick to my stomach.